Namaste, welcome to Keta's Kitchen. Uh, soon schools will reopen again and uh, it's time to get ready with the kids tiffin or the school lunch boxes. So here I am giving you a series of uh, ideas for Monday to Saturday and they are all tasty, healthy and easy to make with minimum time. So which cater to all these uh, different factors. Definitely try out these recipes and you should enjoy making them and your children will, will enjoy eating them too. First day, Monday, let's see what is in our lunch box today. Wow! Healthy vada pavs along with some dry fruits. Let's see how to make it. First, we will make the alu masala for the filling. Here I have two large boiled aloos or potatoes which I have peeled. Now we will mash this very well with a potato masher. To this I am adding some finely chopped onions, some fresh coriander leaves, a little bit of turmeric powder. Because we are making for kids, I am not adding green chillies. For adults, for adults, you can add green chillies. So, I am just adding this Kashmiri chilli powder which is not spicy. And a little bit of hing. Add salt to taste. And mix everything well together. Divide this into small portions like this and keep it aside. Here I have some gram flour or basin in a bowl. You can take 3 to 4 tablespoons. Add a little bit of salt just for this outer covering. And a pinch of haldi powder. Now add water little at a time to make a paste for the outer covering. Whisk it well without any lumps. Heat a little bit of oil in each of these paniara molds. Dip this potato mixture in the basin. Coat it well and place it in this. When it is done on one side, gently turn it over and cook on the other side too. Again just add a few drops of oil on each like this. When it is well done on both the sides, you can just remove it and drain it out onto a plate like this. So our alu bondas are ready. Now we will get our pav bun also ready. Very soft pav buns. You can just take it like this and just slice it. Don't cut it completely. Slice it like this and place this vada inside like this. or you can even call it as bonda because of the shape so if you have a sandwich toaster like this you can lightly brush it with some butter on both the sides And just toast it for half a minute on each side and remove. Next just flip it over and toast on the other side too. In case you don't have the sandwich maker, don't worry. You can just keep it on a tawa and toast it both sides. Now when it is done on both sides, we can remove it onto a plate. See, you can take it out like this.
make the remaining vada pavs also healthy vada pavs so our healthy vada pav for kids lunch box is ready here i have the lunch box along with it there's just some tomato ketchup if your child is very small then you can even just uh, slightly cut it and keep so that they won't have any problem in opening it in school also i have kept here some dry fruits and i'm sure they'll enjoy this lunch going back to school on monday after enjoying the weekend so this will definitely help them to go to school and enjoy this healthy vada pav our special tip of the day for monday's breakfast monday morning is a rush hour for everybody so what you can do is boil the potatoes the previous night itself and store it in the fridge morning take it out and then you can make the breakfast in just 10 minutes next is tasty mini idlis for making the mini idlis we need a mini idli plate and here i have this idli batter i have taken 2 cups of idli rava and half a cup of urad dal soaked it for 3 hours ground into a batter and kept it overnight see it has fermented well we have already added salt in it now give it a light mix i have greased this idli mold with some ghee take out the required quantity of batter and just spoon it out into each of these molds already i have water in my steamer which is getting ready the water is boiling now we'll keep this for steaming for 10 minutes Let's check the idlis. See, lovely, soft, fluffy idlis, steamed and ready. I'll switch it off. Now heat a teaspoon of ghee in a kadai. Urad dal, a little bit of jeera, some chana dal. a few fresh curry leaves and some ground nut roast till the ground nuts are well done add a pinch of hing to it Now, since we are making for children, I am not may using the regular idli malaga padi, but this is the curry leaves powder, homemade. So this is optional. Just you can add a teaspoon of that. And a pinch of turmeric powder. And mix everything well together. Now switch off the stove and add these steamed idlis into it. The idlis already have salt in it. I am just adding a pinch of salt for taste and toss everything together well like this. So our mini idli usili is now ready. Here I have made one more batch. We have used the same ingredients in the seasoning, excepting I did not use any curry leaves powder. Only haldi and all this mustard seeds, ground nuts, etc. So depending on the availability at home and the preference of your children, you can make any type of masala idli. 
so i have served out my mini masala idli or mini udli usli and i have uh, two pieces of mango so whatever seasonal fruit you have you can add it in the children's lunch box and now we are good to go for the day 2 kids lunch box our tips for day 2 always keep uh, idli dosa batter grind it over the weekend and store it into your fridge in your fridge it will come of great use through the week for making different kinds of snacks and also this uh, curry leaf powder or uh, the idli mulaga padi which you also call as gun powder chutney powder all these also every month make a good quantity and keep it with you for example this curry leaf powder we have added to our masala idlis today you can sprinkle it over dosa mix it with rice and eat so many different options are there so keep some three or four of these ready made powders homemade powders all the recipes i have given on my playlist under homemade powders you can see that too and make or if you don't want to use that as i said earlier you just do the tempering alone toss the idlis in it and even you can serve it like that for today's lunch box we will make something which kids will love that is a dosa pizza i am using the same idli batter which we had used uh, for the previous day's recipe now for today i have cut a small capsicum one tomato one onion and here it's some grated cheese now let's see how to make it i also have some salt and chili powder just sprinkle a little bit on top we'll make this with ghee so let's make small dosa now just spread just a pinch of the salt and chili powder add a little bit of these vegetables capsicum tomatoes and onions this flatten it out a bit like this pour some ghee all around when it is done on one side gently flip it over just add a little bit more ghee now once again flip it back like this just put a little bit of tomato ketchup on it finally top it with some grated cheese keep the flame in sim that is a minimum flame throughout cover it and just cook till the cheese starts melting see the cheese has started melting now carefully remove it onto your plate is lovely mini dosa pizzas will surely be enjoyed by your children during lunch time so today's lunch box we have this absolutely uh, cheesy yummy dosa pizzas and of course i kept two cookies in the snacks box our tips for day 3 lunch box as i said earlier grind your idli dosa batter over the weekend and store it in the fridge it will come of use secondly while making the small dosas keep your flame in absolute sim and continue working so that the dosas or the mini dosa pizza will remain soft even after a couple of hours when the child is going to have his lunch for today's lunch box we'll have a sandwich roti so for the roti i have already made some dough with some wheat flour and salt and kneaded it kept it aside for the sandwich i have some finely chopped carrot cabbage a little bit of capsicum 
and one boiled potato. You can use whatever vegetables you have at home. If you have beans, cauliflower, etc., also you can use. Now, heat a spoon of oil in a pan. I am adding some finely chopped onions. Lightly saute it for a minute. Next, add in the chopped capsicum, cabbage, and carrot. Add some turmeric powder, salt to taste, and chili powder. Stir the vegetables well together. Also, one small tomato I have chopped. Cook everything well together. For added flavor, I am adding a teaspoon of pav bhaji masala. When the vegetables are uh, three fourth done, I am adding one boiled potato which I have mashed. So when it is all cooked, it can retain a little bit of the crunch. That will be good. Now see, it has come together. Keep this uh, filling aside and allow it to cool. Take out small portions of the dough and we will roll it into a roti. Heat a tawa and we will cook this roti. Flip it over, cook the other side also. So now remove it and keep it on a plate. See, we are going to cook this once again after keeping the filling. So I am just removing it now when it is half done. This is some green chutney which I have made from coriander leaves, mint leaves, green chilies and salt and lemon juice. I grind this and keep this in a box like this in my freezer. It stays good. Whenever you want, you take out a small portion for use and put the remaining back in the freezer. It stays good for over a month. First, I am just applying a little bit of ghee on this roti. Then, some green chutney I will spread on this. Next, we will keep some of this vegetable filling here. This is some paneer. We will grate some paneer on it for added protein. Now fold this over like this and keep it ready. Similarly with the other one also. Now just add a little bit of ghee on your tawa, spread it around. Now place these sandwich rotis on the tawa like this. Just a little few drops of ghee. Next flip it over and cook on the other side too. Keep the flame low. When it is well done on both the sides. Now we can remove it. Just allow it to come down to room temperature. You can just cut it into pieces so that children can easily handle it. This is some fresh homemade dahi 
also known as curd or yogurt we'll just beat it well to this you can either add salt or sugar depending on your child's taste i'm just adding a spoon of powdered sugar and give it a good mix so the, today i'm placing this in this small box as an accompaniment for the sandwich rotis so you can now place the sandwich rotis in the box this becomes very easy interesting and healthy also for the child so our kids lunch box of the day healthy sandwich rotis with some dahi is all ready now so our uh, lunch box for the day sandwich rotis are ready i'm sure myra is very happy with it no myra you like it yeah oh, good so the tip for the day you can make your uh, chapati dough keep it overnight if you are if you don't have much time in the morning similarly you can uh, Uh, grate your vegetables keep it in airtight boxes so that you can uh, save a lot of time in the mornings when you are making the lunch box some children have to leave as early as 6:30 in the morning itself so for them i am telling you can do these small tips which you can make ahead of time and keep it and of course the green chutney also you can prepare and keep in your freezer for today's lunch box we have got rava paniyaram or suji paniyaram this is the regular bombay rava or upma rava i have taken 1 cup of this rava now in a bowl you take half a cup of fresh curd homemade curd and half a cup of water and whisk it well together add it to this rava also we'll add some salt to it will again mix everything well together so that there are no lumps at all after mixing it well now again add another half cup of water and again give it a good mix now cover it leave it to ferment for about 8 hours in very hot weather after 8 hours keep it in the fridge then next morning you can take it out now in the morning i have uh, removed it from the fridge it has fermented well and also the rava has soaked well now to this rava i am adding a little bit of chopped onion and a small piece of chopped capsicum here i have some finely grated carrot and some coriander leaves too Now mix everything well together. We had already added salt in the batter. Now keep your paneeram pan for heating and pour about half a spoon of oil in each mold. Now spoon out small portions of this batter into each mold like this. cook it till done on one side and then we'll flip it over and cook the other side too allow it to get a golden color then then carefully flip it over like this so that the top side also gets well done how will we know if it is done just insert a knife into it the knife should come out the no batter should be sticking to it now we can gently remove this on the plate so our vegetable rava paniyarams are all done and ready we'll just wait for it to cool a little bit to come down to room temperature as a side dish for adults of course we like to have with chutney but for children today i am going to serve with this uh, mango chunda that is a kind of jam made with raw mangoes i made it recently when the mangoes are in season 
if you have mango or amla anything you can keep how to make this take one green raw mango and peel it then grate it nicely so depending on how much if you have one cup of grating take equal quantity of jaggery or jaggery powder one cup then mix them both allow to rest for about 10 minutes it will uh, let out all its uh, syrup cook it on a low to medium flame till it becomes thick and leaves the sides you can add some cardamom powder cloves cinnamon also to this according to taste so a healthy and tasty lunch box for day 5 is also ready so with one cup of suji i have got 24 of these paniyarams of this size so depending on how many you want to make you can soak your batter now tip of the day it's always good to soak as i said add the rava and the curd make a batter allow it to ferment overnight and then use it the next morning and uh, supposing you have forgotten to soak it then in that case you can make an instant version too but at that time you might have to add a pinch of baking soda or eno to the batter and quickly make it i wanted to avoid that for children so i allowed it to ferment overnight and now i made this tasty paneer this lunch box we are going to use this pasta macaroni pasta so we will make it a uh, desi style the indian style i am calling it a pasta poha so here i am taking about one cup of this macaroni also known as elbow macaroni because of the shape now for one cup macaroni take plenty of water four to five cups of water in a pan and bring it to a boil when the water starts coming to boil add some salt to it and also a spoon of oil now add this one cup of macaroni to this boiling water now allow it to cook for about uh, 10 minutes till it becomes soft see it should be cooked like this that is it's called as al dente that is just soft but not too mushy this is the perfect consistency let's drain it out just pour half a cup of cold water over it and the macaroni is cooked and ready to make the pasta poha heat a tablespoon of oil in a kadai add a few mustard seeds cumin seeds or jeera next this is one onion finely chopped saute this here i have one ripe tomato and two green chilies a small piece of ginger i have chopped them all very fine now i'll add it to this this is some frozen green peas add that too just adding a little bit of salt remember we have already added salt while uh, boiling the macaroni now stir fry all this well for about a minute just a small pinch of turmeric powder after about two minutes add in this um, boiled macaroni to it and mix everything very well while mixing keep the flame low so that it doesn't stick to the base this is some uh, roasted and uh, peeled uh, ground nuts this is for that extra crunch and some fresh coriander leaves on top we can switch it off now finally top it up with some fresh lemon juice so a tasty pasta poha the children will absolutely love for lunch is ready now we are ready to serve it out in our kids tiffin box or lunch box 
So we have not used any oregano or olive oil or exotic uh, ingredients, just basic ingredients available at home and given it a desi twist. This is made from 100% wheat, there is no maida or a processed flour, refined flour in it. So it is quite okay to give it to your children. And as we all know, whenever we serve poha, we top it up with some crunchy save on top. I have kept it separately so that it does not become soggy. The child can just add it on at lunch time and enjoy his lunch. For the tip of the day for this recipe, just be sure that you do not boil the macaroni too much. It should just be soft to touch otherwise it will become very mushy. The separate pieces of macaroni should be seen when it is boiled. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy making these recipes and your kids enjoy their lunch box too every day. We will meet again with another interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.